So WordPress is one of the most popular platforms out there for building a website, and for good reason. It's flexible, it's powerful, and you can use it to create almost anything. But if you've ever tried to figure it out on your own, you probably already know it could feel like a confusing hot mess at first. There's WordPress.com, there's WordPress.org, hosting plans, themes, plugins. It's a lot to take in. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how WordPress works, what you can actually do with it, and how to know if it's the right platform for your website. Now, before we get into the details though, just a quick heads up, this video is sponsored by Hostinger, which is the hosting provider I've been using myself. They make setting up WordPress incredibly simple, and I'll show you how that works later on. Now, one of the first things that trips people up is the fact that there are actually two versions of WordPress, wordpress.com and wordpress.org. And even though the names sound almost identical, they work very differently. WordPress.com is more of a managed platform. So the hosting, security, and updates are all taken care of for you, which can be very convenient. But it also means you're limited in terms of customization and control. WordPress.org, on the other hand, is what most people are actually referring to when they say they use WordPress. It's completely free, open source software that you install on your own hosting plan. And once it's installed, you're in control of everything, your design, your content, your plugins, your data. You can customize it however you want and build it into practically anything. Now, the reason so many people end up choosing WordPress over other builders is because it strikes the perfect balance between control and creativity. You actually own your site which means you're not tied to one company's pricing or limitations. It's flexible enough for beginners, but powerful enough that companies like TechCrunch and BBC still use it today. So even though it does seem a little technical at first, once you understand how it works, WordPress.org is the one that gives you the most flexibility long-term. So once WordPress is up and running, you can build just about anything with it. It started out as a blogging tool years ago, but today it powers everything from personal websites and portfolios, to full online stores and even news sites. So if you are a photographer, you can set up a clean gallery to showcase your work. If you're a writer, you can build an audience and send out newsletters with tools like MailPoet. And if you are running a small business, WordPress makes it easy to sell products, book appointments, or manage client services all in one place. You can add features using plugins, which are kind of like apps for your website. So if you need contact forms, analytics, or SEO tools, you just install the plugin you want and it takes care of the rest. No coding required. And the best part, once you've spent a little time on a dashboard, it all starts to make sense. You'll go from where do I even click to let me just add this real quick. It's pretty fast. So using WordPress day to day is honestly one of the things that makes it very appealing. You log in and everything you need is right there. You can create pages, upload photos, tweak your layout and manage plugins all from the same dashboard. At first, it might be a little overwhelming. There are a lot of menus and settings and it can take a bit to get your bearings, but once you spend a little time with it, it really does start to feel natural. The appearance tab lets you change your theme, your colors and your fonts. The plugin section is where you add new features. And the cool thing is that your content and design stay separate. So if you ever wanna change the look of your site, you won't lose anything you've already built. Now, I remember when I added my first plugin and everything on the page shifted out of place. I thought I broke the whole site, but I rolled it back, made a few changes and got it working again. That's kind of how it goes with WordPress. You experiment, you fix things and improve it over time. And if you ever get stuck, chances are someone else already has too. The community around WordPress is huge and you can usually find step-by-step -step help in just a few minutes. Now, before your site can actually go live, you do need hosting. And hosting is basically the land your website sits on. It's where all of your pages, your images, and files are stored. And it's what keeps your site running smoothly behind the scenes. The quality of your hosting matters a lot. A slow or unreliable host can make your site crawl or even crash during traffic spikes, but a good host just works quietly in the background, keeping things fast and secure so you don't have to think about it. I learned that the hard way when my old site took nearly five seconds to load. Now. After switching to Hostinger, it dropped to under two. That small difference actually boosted my traffic and kept people from leaving before the page even finished loading. And that's one of the reasons I've stuck with Hostinger. Their dashboard is simple, installing WordPress takes one click, and you get a free domain, SSL certificate, and daily backups all included, so you're not stuck piecing everything together just to get started. Their servers use Lightspeed, which keeps your site quick even if you have a bunch of plugins or images. There's also built-in caching and malware protection that runs automatically. And if you ever run into a problem, their support team actually responds like real people, not just copy-pasted replies. Now, if at any point 
you want to check out Hostinger, there's a link in the description and you can use the code SITESTARTERS at checkout to get an additional 10% off any plan. It's an affiliate link, but it won't cost you anything extra and it helps support the channel. So once your hosting is set up, this is where things start getting fun because now you can decide what your site looks like and what it can do. Themes control the design. You can choose something minimal, something bold, or something completely custom. I usually recommend starting with something lightweight and easy to work with like Astro or Cadence. They're clean, fast, and really easy to customize without needing to touch any code. And if you're not sure what to pick, you can always change your theme later without losing any of your content. That's one of the best parts about WordPress. It's really forgiving when you're learning. Now, plugins are what adds features. So let's say you need a contact form. You can install WP Forms. If you want to improve your SEO, Rank Math or Yoast are both solid choices. If you're selling products, WooCommerce turns your site into a full online store. And if you want to send emails or newsletters, MailPoet handles that without needing a separate tool. One thing I learned early on is to avoid going overboard. It's easy to install plugins for every single thing. It can slow your site down. So it's best just to start with the basics, then add tools only when you really need them. So one of the biggest reasons people stick with WordPress is the freedom that it gives you. You're not locked into a subscription. You're not renting space on someone else's platform and you're not stuck with limitations that force you to start over later. You own everything, your content, your design, your data, it's all yours. Now, because WordPress is open source, thousands of developers are constantly improving it, building new tools and sharing what they create. That means you get access to a massive library of plugins, themes, and integrations, most of which are completely free. And the support community is just as big. If something breaks or you're not sure how to do something, chances are somebody's already run into the same issue and shared a solution. Whether it's on forums, YouTube, or Reddit, help is never far away. It's a platform that really grows with you, whether you're just starting out or building something more advanced down the line, WordPress keeps up without making you feel boxed in. So WordPress is best for anyone who wants full control over their website. If you like having the flexibility to change things, try new layouts, or grow your site into something bigger later on, it's a great fit. It's ideal for creators, freelancers, small business owners, or anyone who wants to build something that can evolve over time. Now, if you're just looking to throw together a quick landing page or a single page portfolio, and you don't really plan on updating it, a drag and drop builder like Squarespace or Wix might feel easier in the short term. But if you want something, you can really make your own. And especially if you plan to add more features later, WordPress is definitely worth learning. Getting started with WordPress takes less time than most people expect. With a good hosting plan like the one I showed earlier, you can have a basic site live within an hour. Pick a theme, add some pages, upload your images, and by the end of the weekend, you'll have something that looks and feels like a real website. You don't need to know how to code. The built-in editor lets you move things around visually, and if you want even more control, builders like Elementor or Bricks give you a full drag and drop layout system. Just take it one step at a time. Every great website started out simple and got better with small updates over time. Once you've built a few pages, you're gonna to start to see how far you can take it. WordPress isn't perfect, but what it gives you is something pretty rare, real ownership. You control how your site looks, how it works, and where it goes next. And even though it takes a little time to learn, the payoff is worth it if you want a site that can grow with you. Hopefully this gave you a better sense of what it's like to actually use WordPress and whether or not it's the right fit for your website. And as a reminder, if you want to give it a try, you'll find the link Hostinger down below along with the code site starters to get 10% off. And that's what I use myself. And it really makes the setup process a lot easier. So hopefully you found this helpful. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments below. I always love getting to answer as many as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.